Yeah, good morning guys, Jim from jagfx.com. It's Tuesday 19th of June 2018. Just going quickly, quick video on what I have done this morning on the high probability and the mod MACD charts. So we'll go straight to them. Um, there was no new trades at all today. Um, I, now we'll just go through the mod MACD. This is the system from the basics book. Uh, this is the pound yen. I was in a buy. Uh, I've got a confirmed cross of the fast MACD zero level, so I've closed closed this trade. This is no longer a buy. You'll, I'll, um, there's a loss there for about 81 pips. I haven't taken a sell as yet because even though there's a red dot through the fast MACD, the standard MACD is not in sell mode as yet, and there's no red QMP, so there's not enough criteria for me to reverse at this stage. So all I've done is close the buy. Uh, next trade is the USD Can Canada. I'm going to buy here. All I've done is move the stop up to 129.341. So all it, I've just, it was down here somewhere. It's just been moved up there. It's going up nicely with a couple hundred pips in profit there. So just locking in profit. Aussie. USD, I'm in a sell here. All I've done is move, the, oh, I've set a stop. Um, I didn't have a stop prior, and all I've done is set one here at 75877. So it's just a stop in place. And remember, you can always um, just pause this video and have a look at what's happening. Pound USD, I've also set a stop here at 134885. There was no stop in place prior, so now I've just set a stop on that. Uh, what's the next one? New Zealand Canadian dollar. The stop, we're in a buy down here. I've already closed half. I've just moved my stop up above the entry level and before the below the 240 LMA, so it's at 90478. So it's a new stop in place. Well, not a new stop, a modified stop. And the Aussie. New Zealand, I'm in a sell from up here. Uh, all I've done is move my stop down just under the entry level, that red line. So that, now it's that red dotted line. That red dashed line was a target uh, loss recovery spot. We're well and truly through that. But yeah, that red uh, black dotted line, so that's a 108,390. So that's a new stop in place. So that's it for the Mod MACD. So just the one loss on the pound yen and all the rest are just stop modifications so quickly go to the high probability daily charts so this is obviously from the high prob probability book and also the versions book uh, no new trades here today uh, let's have a look usd japan or usg usd yen uh, i'll just move my stop up here you can see the red dotted line just below this low here it's at 109.810 now, so it's just, um, I've already closed half now, just locking in the profit on the second half. Uh, New Zealand Japanese Yen, this, I just want to bring this to your attention. There's a, um, a new sell signal here this morning, and it's with the MA, so it looks all pretty good. The only thing that concerns me is this blue JagFX RD, it's bullish already so even though the MACD's turned over nicely and is above the zero level I'm not taking the trade just because of that um, even though it's a sell trade and it looks good with the MAs my concern is that's a pre it's a newer high higher high so it is possible the trend has stalled a bit so I'm just I'm taking the probably the safe option here it could go drop like a rock but I don't think it's going to drop very far if it does. So that was that. And the final one was the Aussie Japanese Yen. Um, I'm going to sell here. I talked about this on my main video last night. Um, I've cl what I've done is I've closed half of this trade and I've set the stop now just above a couple of candles back. You can see just above the 50. So the stop's now 83021. So I've taken half off the table. I think there's about 65 pips or something there. Can't lose now. That's probably about 35 pips to stop. So the reason I took half off, again, it's the same as that Japanese um, 
the other one, the New Zealand yen. We've got a higher high here, so even though we're in a downtrend, I think the trend's dying a bit. We've had two positive, uh, two bullish JFX RDs, and we're through the zero level in the MACD. So all I'm doing is reducing the risk there. And that's about it, guys, for now. So that's a um, short and sharp video, just what I've done this morning. I'll update the spreadsheets and fix up all, tidy up all the charts and that, and post a couple of screenshots for you, etc. All right, cheers, thank you.